Hey guys, King Pones are here for Team Curry Bandits. Guess what I got here? I've got a package. Yeah, I'm not going to show you my address, so it's the other side. But, um, before I get into this, I'd like to tell you guys who sent me this. Um, if you look on the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Amino, yes, we have Aminos. You love it. There's this guy named Twisted Necromancer. He does these giveaways and these... Sometimes he just gives random gifts to Yugi tubers, but this is part of a giveaway. I won. Only one of 20 people, so it's not like, oh, I'm the grand prize winner. But anyway, I'll tell you what I got. What well, he sent me, because I won, I won one of the entries to the contest, uh, there's 10 packs of 10 cards that he custom made. He made these packs himself, so there's random cards, not from just one set. However, there are Code of the Duelist stuff, so got to get on that. Um, and one random starter or structure deck. So in just a moment, I'm going to get to opening these babies. Okay, guys. So here's what I got. They are our 10 custom packs and one. I already know which one it is, but I put it upside down for the suspense. One structure deck. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to open each one. I'm gonna well I'm gonna open them all right now. And then I'm going to have the cards face down so you don't know what they they are. And then I shall reveal to you what each pack got in the polls. And then at the end you'll see what deck I got. Okay, so I opened all of them. I don't know any of the cards that are in them because I made sure that I saw the I only saw the backs of the cards. Now I want to before I open this last one, I want to show you guys how well he made the packs. See, he made he put a lot of work into making sure that they are pretty smoothly packed. Like it's nice, neat, and honestly, opening them is not too difficult either. He has tape over these two flaps right here and then tape right here and then it's folded three times so the cards are held nice and neat together without any damage to them as you can see these cards all look mint and they pro they are all mint so and he's got his little twisted necromancer and this is his second set so about to open this pack up and then we're gonna get to this all right so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start from that pack go all the way through the rows and then once I do all the packs I'm gonna reveal what deck is in is this hope you guys like all right guys here we go pack one I'm gonna do them from the back so I can see the card First card, Backup Secretary. Oh, I love the fact that I, the first card I looked at was a Cybers. You guys don't know this, but I want to build Cybers so bad. Not not World Chalice. I mean, I can make a normal World Chalice deck, like with normal monsters. Maybe mix in some Phantom, Phantasm Spiral. But I really want a generic Cybers deck for the, the talkers, the code talkers. I'm just so excited. Then... Ghost Trick Jang Shi. I mean, he, he did mention... We did talk before he mentioned that he was going to send me some. He did mention that some older packs were going to be in here. But they're, they're mint. He didn't take any from his collection. He bought all the cards to put in the set. Third card. Orbital Hydra Lander. So, this is a level 8 machine type with pretty much blue eyes stats but it has a special summon co uh, a summoning condition of having to have five or more monsters in your graveyard no monster in your graveyard with the same name so basically an OC de a character deck would be perfect for this because no copies of the same card all right fourth card Woo! a synchro monster salt black a uh, salt black wing Sahoya the rainstorm that, that's that's kind of cool 
Never had a Blackwing Synchro monster other than Blackwing Dragon, so that's kind of cool. Ooh, hello. That's a pretty card. Ultra Rare. Odd Eyes. Lancer Dragon. I have two Lancer Dragons, but just having a mint mwah, right out the pack is awesome. Ooh, another um, Ultra Yellow Gadget. My, you put this in my Ancient Gear deck to bump the rarity up. Next card, Malice Vorus Fork. Never really got the point of having silverware cards. Okay, next, Ghost Trick Stein. Another Ghost Trick. Maybe maybe I'll build them if I get enough out of this set. Ooh, he here's a Go 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 card that was in Code, Code of the Duelist that I kind of wanted to get. Go 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 Aristora and Dexia. I want to see how that might work with the Go Go Go's. I have all the other ones. And the final card, Eggsy's Reception. Now I'm going to take a quick break before I open up the second pack because i got to deal with something. All right, pack number two. Starting from the bottom like we did last time. Okay, now this is a card I also wanted to get. This is from Raging Tempest, Apprentice Piper. Now this is a pretty cool flip effect monster. I'm not sure how much play he's going to get, but I've heard that he's really good. Flip. You can special summon one monster from your hand. Special summon. That's a free special summon. As long as your monster doesn't have a summoning condition that says it can't be special summoned other ways, that's a free level 8 right there. Blue eyes. Right there. Or it's a dark, so free red eyes. Boom. Or dark magician. And then it has a regular effect. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon a monster from your hand. That could be a potential high rank monster right there for free. It's just cool. Second card. Parry Knights. Okay, this this looks kind of disco. Um, this is weird. Oh, that's kind of cool. Alright. Third card. Bujingi Ibis. Ibis is Ibis. Is, um, I don't know where I was going with that. Uh, I'm I'm kind of collecting the Bujin cards. I don't think I'm going to build a deck with them because I don't know how relevant they're going to be in this format now, and um, they make people mad. Next card. Baby, Ra Baby Raccoon Pon Poco. This card is so cute. Next. Ooh, speaking of Bujin, th this is awesome. Ultra rare, Bujin Te Suku Yomi. Okay, maybe I might build the deck. Next card. Whew. Sucks that I traded away my Raid Raptors, because Raid Raptor Satellite Cannon Falcon. That is awesome. Okay, next card. Oh, I might be building this deck. Speedroid Passing Linger. I Passing Glider. I do have a lot of Speedroids. Except for I traded, tra traded away my Chanbara. Next card. Twilight Twin Dragons. Ah, uh, this is for the the new Twilight Sworn stuff. Because this is if you control Punishment Dragon, you can add a Judgment dra Target one Judgment Dragon in your graveyard and add it to your hand. Then send the top four cards of your deck to the grid. That's kind of cool. I like that they kind of revamped Light Sworn, but also made it so that the new Twilight Sworn mixed in with the Light Sworn. That's kind of cool. Launcher Commander. Here we go. Another Cybers card, boy. Ah, that, that's great. Last card of the set of this pack. Cosmo Delta Shuffle. Shuttle. Delta Shuttle. I, I get that they're, from, they're like Star Wars cards, but... I've never really been into building the Cosmo, mostly because back when they first came out, they were such a expensive deck to build, and they just made everybody angry because if you played Cosmo, people are automatically not going to want to duel you because there's <laughs> there was almost no chance of beating Cosmos back then. Alright, so let's go to pack number Trey. Starting from the bottom, like I always do. Secret Sec Druid Wid. Dru Druid Wid. Uh, okay, so this guy targets continuous spell cards. Okay. Next card. Battling Boxer Rabbit Puncher. K 
can't expect every card to be top pull, but uh, if I was building Battle and Boxers, it was that would be a great card, I guess. Next card, another Malice Vorus Fork. I guess I'm eating food. Next, Secret Sec Druid Drew. Hmm. It's kind of cool that I got two from the same set in the pack. Next, ooh, Flower Bot. Uh, if this card is sent from the graveyard, draw a card, then place one card. Okay, so it's a kind of like a recycle your hand a little bit or trade in. Oh yeah, boy! Got a Link Monster, Imduck, the World Chalice Dragon. I know people who want this for trade. I mean, maybe if I don't get a good amount of World Chalice from this, maybe. Because people are so crazy about trading for them stuffs. Next card. Three Strikes Barrier. Oh, what's this about? Okay, that's kind of cool. If your opponent controls exactly three cards, activate one of these effects. This turn, your monsters cannot be destroyed by battle. This turn, you take no battle damage. Or this turn, each time your monster inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you gain that same amount of life points. See, that's kind of a cool card. Next. Performa Pal Life Swordsman. Haven't heard of that guy before. That's kind of cool. A new Performa Pal. Ooh, a Cypher card. Cypher is Stranger. E Stranger? E Stranger? And the last card. Ooh! Jack Wyvern. That's kind of cool. It's kind of cool getting one of Revolver's cards. All right, time for pack Quattro. If I get some gimmick puppets in this, this is this would be the greatest thing ever. First card, FA Circuit Grand Prix. That's kind of cool. The field spell for that new uh, revamped uh, Ultimate Athlete kind of thing. Defense Zone. Hey, a second, another field spell, and that's for the UAs. <laughs> It's kind of cool getting both of them in the same bag right there. Next, another Orbital Hydrolander. Ooh, Gaga -ga tag. I love my Gagas. Oh, look at that. Oh, I thought it was Link Slayer. But it's still good. It's Gladiator Beast Noxus. Noxious. It's a leopard. Oh! Oh! I love this card. Supreme Dragon Servant Odd Eyes. Supreme King Dragon Odd Eyes. Oh, yeah. Love the packs. And then Abyss Actor, Trendy Understudy. Kind of like that. The, it's like a demon circus, so it's like the opposite of Performance Pals. Oh, wait. Doesn't Silvio use those? Next. Infernity Patriarch. Oh, that's a uh, nice Infinity. Infernities will never die. That's the thing. Because it's a no hand, you win. Baby Raccoon Tauntaun. Gotta love baby raccoons. They're cute. And then the final card of the pack. Dark World Brainwashing. See, this is where you see Light Sworn Raiko being turned into a Twilight Sworn. It's kind of cool. No gimmick puppets. Kind of suck that Quattro didn't have any gimmick puppets. Pack number five. Ready, set, draw. Cynet Universe, here we go. Okay, I've heard that this kind of holds you back when you're playing Cybers, but it's a Cybers card nonetheless. Next, Reinforcement of the Army. Gotta have these guys. Hey, here we go, Raid Raptor Singing Lanius. Yeah. Haha! Uh, -ha. Perform a pal hip hippo. Love my hips. Ooh. Well, seeing as I'm trying to build DDDs, this is kind of great. DDD Super King Doom King Armageddon Dark Armageddon. Xyz Pendulum. That's kind of great. Ooh. Super heavy. Super heavy samurai fist. Love them defensive monsters too. I love the love monster decks where you can have just monsters. Naturia beans. 
These things were like awesome when you ha when Naturia was relevant. Oh, I might be able to build Di Dynamis now it's because I got the Dynamis Spinos, one of the cards I was missing out of the core. And then Performant Pal Bubble Wow Wow. Bubble Bow Wow. <laughs> it's kind of cute. And the last card, Smile Universe. Oh, that's great. The the kind of second tier version of Smile World. That's kind of cool. I'm liking what I'm pulling. I'm excited. Let's go to pack number six. First draw, Magispector Fox QB. Now, I don't really want to build Magispectors, but gotta love the fact that they're wind kind of yokai-ish. And they're a spellcaster pendulum deck. Cypher Spectrum. Nice. Oh, it kind of looks like Pink Floyd's uh, Dark Side of the Moon kind of thing. Another Bow Wow. Black Dragon Ninja. Okay, that's kind of cool. I, I've seen White Dragon Ninja. I always thought they, they should summon dragon type monsters considering the name. Oh my god, this is awesome. The the bright Armageddon. And the, the, the rarity of them, too. They're just awesome. <whistles> Hello. Light Force Sword. This card's making a comeback. E Cybers Beatron. Ghost Trick Mansion. Another Ghost Trick card. Oh! One card uh, Decode Talker. I got a Gofu right there. And the final card, another Passing Glider. See, I'm loving these pulls. Even if they're not stuff that I'm going to build decks for, they're cards I've never had before, so I'm happy about it. And even and they're cards that, even if I don't particularly want to use them, people will trade for them. I mean, I'm probably going to use Gofu and all that stuff because I'm going into links. So, six. The sixth pack. Naturia Mosquito. Naturia is an older set. I'm not sure if it'll ever come back as relevant. Twin Headed Behemoth. Now that that's an old card that takes me back. This is one of my favorite dragons back in the day because when it gets destroyed, it comes back but weaker. So it's like Foxfire, but temporary, and actually a decent monster. Okay, now this is a deck that people were talking about, saying it was good. Digital Bug Web Solder. Solder? Web Solder? I don't know. Uh, ooh, yes! Another Cybers. Stack Reviver. It's great. And there are pat cards from uh, the Link Strike Starter decks. So that's what Link Revi Stack Reviver's from? Oh no, he's from Code of the Duelist. Ooh! Rescue Ferret. That's cute. Can't deny that the rescue monsters are cute. Ooh, I've got a Time Lord, and that guy's got an ugly face. Sadion, the Time Lord. I like that rarity, though. Mmm. Photon Charge Man. Junk Breaker. Okay. Now, I kind of want to build junks. Because I have, like, all the, uh... All the warrior synchro monsters from the psych, psych, the synchron set. The only one I'm missing is Chevalier, Fleur de Shot, Fleur, Chevalier de Fleur, the one that Fleur synchron summons. Zephra Path. Uh, Zephra is a decent deck, I guess. And Treasure Panda. Banish up to three spell cards from your graveyard, from from your graveyard face down. Special summon one normal monster from your deck who is level equal. Okay. Pack number seven. F.A. Sonic Meister. Okay, so this is like the the other UA guys. So, they're like speeding, right driving. It's kind of cool, I guess. I guess um, because UAs are all level seven or eight monsters, they had to make a level four for them. I don't know. 
Jane, Twilight Sworn General. Yeah, gotta like some Twilight Swords. Boogie Trap. <laughs> uh, discard two cards and target one card. Okay. Oh, so it's setting a random card, a spell or trap from your graveyard. That's kind of cool. Dragodes, the Empowered Warrior. Now, I like the Empowered stuff, you know, um, how they're the the Summoners and then the Warriors. They're kind of cool. Mermail Abyssius, an Ultra Rare. Yeah. Getting a lot of Ultra Rares in this set. <laughs> Number 64, Ronin Raccoon Sandayu. Wonder if they work well with the baby raccoons. Mecha Phantom Beast Saberhawk. I like the Mecha Phantom Beasts. I wish they fell more in line with the regular Phantom Beasts. Like with... Uh, Gazelle and... Perfumet and all them. Feast of the Wild Level 5. Oh, okay, so this is like the Battle Guard kind of support. That's cool. Marauding Captain. That That's the last card I expected to see in the set. That's great. Final card. Batlin Boxer Sparrer. Another Batlin Boxer. Cool. Again, like I said, great cards all around. And any cards that I don't particularly want to use, I'll be putting up for trade. Pack number eight. We're almost... Or, pack number nine. Oh, so the last pack was number eight, not seven. Sorry. First card of pack number nine, Red Mirror. A Fire Fiend type. Okay, not sure what deck that goes with. This might be Infernity. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist, Hawk. Okay, the Fire Fists are kind of cool. I have um, some of their stuff. UA Stadium. Okay, now we got the Ultimate Athlete Field Spell. D.D. Savant Gal Galilei. I have three of these guys, so this guy might be going up for trade. Abyss Actor, Funky Comedian, and it's a super, I think? Deco Tucker, man! Deco Tucker! <laughs> I was so excited about getting some cyber stuff, and bam! Got the big boss. And we got a new silverware. Malice Vera Spoon. Perform a pal spring goose. I, I I don't care at this point. I'm good. I got a deco talker. Naturia Marin. Like the dog Marin? And the final card. Luna Light White Rabbit. Okay. 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 Pack number ten. Starting from the bottom now we're here. Okay, here's a Fire Fist I don't got. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Leopard. Now I do. Perform Pal Bow Hopper. Batlin Boxer Rib Guardman. Got a few Batlin Boxers in this set. Phantom Knights of Shadow Veil. Vale. I'm not sure if I have three yet. If I do, then this will go up for trade. Or maybe not, because trap monsters are always cool. But you got to have three of these guys in Phantom Knights. Oh, yes! Another DDD extra deck. DDD Gust King High Alexander. One tuner, one non tuner. What? Oh, one plus. Okay, that's how they do it now. Yeah, they've changed the wording up on these cards. Like, graveyard is GY. Ooh, salvage. It's kind of cool. Like the rarity. Love it. Next card Photon Charge Man. Yes. Performer Pal, Thunder Rhino. Ninth card. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist, Fire Fist Caribou. Okay, guys. It's the final card. Battling Boxer, Glass Jaw. All right. So, I'd say out of all those packs, I got some pretty good pulls. Like, 
I'm not gonna lie. I love these pulls. I got some good cyber stuff. I got some good good support. Like I got Gofu. I was never expecting to get that card because it's so expensive to get in trades or on stuff like TCG player. But I also got some stuff that I might trade away. I also got some great rares. I have a binder that that's four hollows that needs some space filled up. So there's definitely some space being filled up now. I, I was so hyped when I got that dragon, sir, the Supreme King Dragon Odd Eyes, because I don't want to build a Zark deck per se, because then you'd have to add all those the Zark magicians and all that. But I do kind of want to collect the Supreme King Dragons. Just cause. But now that we've got the packs, the next thing I'm gonna do is open the deck. Okay, so I don't have a lot of recording time left, so I just wanna get right into what I got for the deck. Legacy of the Blue Eyes. It's the deck that's that introduced Azure Eyes. It Alright, so I wanna use the last of my time to say thank you, Necromancer. This was really fun to open, and I got some great cards that I will be putting to use real soon. And, you know, free blue eye stuff. I mean, it, it, that's, it's awesome. Sure, I didn't get any of the new blue eye support, but old school stuff's good too, man. And not to mention, I have been hyped up for this for like a month. Okay? I have been so excited when it got when the mailman came here today. I just ran out the door, grabbed it, came in and opened it up. Okay, so shout outs to him. These were some great pulls, man. Keep doing what you're doing. And guys, this has been King Ponzer. Having a great day. So I want you all to have a great day too. See ya.